Hello folks. So we actually had two clear nights in a row. So I had both rigs out and I never took them in from last night. I just left them outside since I knew it would be clear again. It saved me a lot of effort. And uh, it's actually around 50 degrees. I can't believe it. It's a nice warm day. And I have a new rule for the winter though. I'm, I'm not going to run two rigs when it's below freezing. Below 32 degrees that's just too hard so but today I can handle today and um, tonight I'm going after the tadpole and the spider they look really cool together especially in HA I already have um, five hours of HA and three hours of sulfur and I'm wondering if I can finish it tonight because uh, it's only visible for me about three hours a night so it makes it rough and the only way I could finish it is if I just capture oxygen tonight and settle with five hours of HA three hours of sulfur and three hours of oxygen I, I'm not sure if I can pull that off I have to stack the, the sulfur at least and see how it looks um, I'm guessing maybe I should go four hours at least of each but I'll see how that looks and um, what I noticed though with um doing five hours um, of HA is I had to capture the data across two nights like I said because it's only um, in view for about three hours and the way I have um, my cabling here um, I don't have it really that secure so I noticed it shifted from night to night so the, the, the diffraction spike isn't exactly clean so um, what, I, what I've got here, one of these days I'll put it on, I've got this little accessory that will let me route my cables along this arc and that will minimize the diffraction spikes. It will snap right onto the rim and I can tape it up and this way my, my cabling will be firmly set and I'll never have to worry about them shifting from night to night. So um, uh, we'll see how this goes next time. I'm not going to put it on for now. I don't want to mess with it right now in between objects. So uh, that's all I've got to say for now. Uh, and let's go to my imaging session. So, all right, I'll see you later. Okay, so it's a really good night out there. Well, not really good. I think there is some um, seeing issues because my HFR seems to be bouncing all over the place on, on both rigs. But here's my surveillance, and I'm uh, uh, got both rigs out. There's my Explorer Scientific over here, my Rasa over here, and they're not pointing at the same target, even though it, it looks like they're going in the same direction. But this video is for the Rasa, and let's jump over to SGP. Uh, okay, so I am an SGP, and sorry if I sound stuffed up, I, I just had a sneezing fit. And so I, I blew some Flonase up my nose and I popped some Benadryl, so hopefully uh, uh, that'll, that'll help me out. But um, if you saw my last video, I sort of had a debate, should I use um, one minute exposures with gain 139 or two minute exposures with gain 75? Um, this project is going to be all gain 75. Uh, but some people had some good points about using gain 139. Um, because of the higher the gain, I guess I would have a lower read noise. And that might make up for the 15 minutes of time I lose doing one minute exposures per hour. But we'll see how this goes with gain 75. You know, if I had more clean, if I had more clear skies, I would do a head to head comparison. But right now, I, I just want to finish this project up. And I can hear it. It's gusty out there right now. Um, so let's see, I'm capturing the tadpole. And I am on, I'm, I'm, I'm on oxygen right now. I'm in the home stretch. I captured five hours of data with HA and four hours of data with sulfur. Uh, and like I said, those are two minutes each. But with oxygen, uh, my readout was coming too high. I, I'm doing gain 75 and 15 with oxygen. But my, it seemed my, you know, oxygen has less light pollution protection. And it seemed my readout for oxygen with two minutes was coming out twice as high as sulfur with two minutes. So, uh, and then the histogram was shifted over a bit. So, you know what, I cut down oxygen down to one minute 
now the histogram looks a lot more like um, the sulfur and the HA. The, the readout is closer. I like to have a, a close histogram, a close readout between all three filters. Uh, I don't know, does that maybe that help me during processing to keep them all very similar? That, that's just the way I like to do it. And uh, you can see, yeah, I'm using gain 7515 for all filters. And uh, the focus, uh, or the HFR is bouncing around all over the place. I'm having some weird scene conditions on both rigs tonight. But uh, as, as you can see, it, it, it's, it's consistent. I mean, it was 175 up here, but it, it has gradually improved as the night went on. And well, now I'm 164, and I was down to 159 here. Then it's just bouncing all over the place tonight. And and it was with my other rig too. And I have still uh, really never, I've never seen this thing lose focus. The stars are always tight. Um, it, it's amazing. The I keep talking about this because I'm so amazed. I don't have a, a focuser on the Rasa yet because if I did have one on the Rasa, I would never use it. I would leave it deactivated so I don't waste time because I don't like to automatically refocus for the sake of refocusing. I can see for myself the stars are, are pinpoint. And uh, and, and what, I, what I'm liking right now with the oxygen is uh, I can see a lot of nebulosity in the tadpole area. The spider is somewhere down here. I'm hoping to squeeze out at least three or three and a half hours of oxygen. Maybe I can still finish it and work with this data. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll have to see. And there's the histogram. I didn't cover it up this time. Uh, guiding hasn't been so good today, but let's take a look. 1.15. Yeah, see, I, and I'm hearing gusts on my surveillance, and I think that was a gust there, that was a gust. But um, it doesn't really matter. But with the the image scale I'm at, the stars look fine, even with the gusts. So, but let me show you. I, I took four hours. I have, um, let's see, I have... Uh, I have five hours of HA, but this is with uh, when I had four hours, and you can see what this is looking like. There's the tadpole nebula up here. You can see the tadpoles swimming around, and I love all the extra nebulosity. I mean, this is just four hours of data, but I think uh, I think it'll well with five hours. I think it's going to be enough. And here's the spider down here, and uh, I guess this is the the body of the spider, and these are the legs, and uh, Let's see, and, and, and that's a stinger, I guess. I don't know if spiders really have a stinger, but I consider that a stinger. And what's what you don't see is I couldn't fit in the fly because I think this stinger is pointing to a, a small nebula just off of the field of view here, and people call that the fly. So a lot of people capture the spider and the fly together. But I thought this HA just was great. Um, I did some processing on it, of course, to make it look like this, but... <clears throat> you know what, I'm going to have to go. I'm not feeling so well. I think I got something in my throat, but we'll see how this all turns out anyway. But uh, thanks for listening, guys. Now, I'll see you later. Wow. Oh.